Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about YOLO V7 model and orbit action model and we are going to see how we can train it on our own custom data set. And before we move on to this particular uh, tutorial, let me just uh, walk you through my YouTube channel. So uh, here's my YouTube channel. You can, you can just go and explore a lot of things around NLP and computer vision models. Uh, so I have, I have I have been creating a lot of videos on document AI, majorly on extracting the important information from PDFs, and also been uh, putting up videos on uh, the text part of the particular uh, model, like uh, using uh, clip modeling, using uh, uh, contrastive loss modeling, using uh, uh, BERT model, using uh, Roberta model. So a lot of models I have uh, been displayed, like a lot of applications around NLP I have displayed around my videos. So just go and watch it. I have a lot of playlists also around uh, training of uh, uh, detection models, NLP models and also I have created a lot of playlists on uh, uh, augmentation of text data and I will also created on videos on annotation tools that you can use it for uh, text annotations and I have also created a playlist on uh, hyperparameter parameter tuning so just, you can just go and walk through my YouTube channel to understand better and uh, hopefully you get a lot of informative uh, information from uh, my channel. If you like the content, uh, do subscribe my channel. It will help me to and it will encourage me to uh, prepare more, a lot of uh, content and videos around NLP and computer vision domain. So uh, now let's get back to the particular uh, tutorial that we are going to focus today. Uh, so today, today in this particular video, we are going to focus on YOLO V7 training. And uh, so uh, YOLO V7 model has been recently released and and it has been outperforming all all, the, all other object detection models that are available right now. So if you go through this uh, uh, GitHub repo of Yolo V7, which is very official, and you can see that they have displayed uh, the content around like how 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 is the performance of Yolo V7 right in the comparing to other object detection models. So uh, I think it's not clear here. So let, let me just move this picture to this particular page, and now you can see that. Uh, Yolo V7, which is in purple color, it is being outperforming all other uh, objection models uh, when you compare Yolo V5 also. So if you see Yolo V5, it's in gray scale. Uh, it is able to get a better, and uh, it is able to perform an uh, average precision about 55 percent, around uh, around 55 to 50, 52 percent accuracy is there for Yolo V5, uh, which is the latest release, and uh, it is it is unable to perform as much as better as yellow v7 but if you see yellow v7 topest performance is 57 or near to about 50 uh, 56.8 percent uh, average precisions so you can see uh, they claim that it's a 120 plus percent uh, faster also so if you see uh, the at the bottom this particular uh, scale shows the uh, the timing the inference timing of a particular model that means how fast it is while inferencing so you can see the the Yolo V7 model. Uh, it's quite faster uh, as compared to the uh, Yolo V7, Yolo V5, uh, uh, the top the top model, the the heaviest model that they claim. And and you can see the same performance is being delivered by the U, uh, Yolo V7 with less parameters, and it is able to do it at the uh, earliest models that that it has. Right. So. So there are also a lot of varieties of V7 models that are available. Even for Yolo V5, there are a lot of varieties. You can you can just go through this uh, GitHub page of uh, Yolo V7, and you can just see that there are a lot of models available around the V5 and the V7 also. So uh, if you want to compare more on V5, I have made a video on Yolo V5 also how you can train it. So the system and everything remains the same. Only the architecture changes has been done. So like when I say system. Uh, uh, is, th is the same that means uh, the training part and everything and data structure around training and around the github is, is same as uh, Yolo v5 so you can find the same folders almost same folders whatever you find it here in Yolo v5 or Yolo v7 it's all the same in there in the Yolo v5 so it won't be hard to change or how to uh, transfer your knowledge from Yolo v5 to v7 while training so that's an easy part that you can get and now if you go at the bottom uh, you can see there are a lot of installations and training guidelines has been given and this yellow v7 is very very good at 
orbit actions and also recently they have also uh, figured about figured out a way to detect using uh, they, they are able to detect a uh, pose of a particular person uh, like they are able to point the uh, key points of a particular person so in the image you can see like it is able to point out the key points like uh, where is the elbow uh, joints of a particular person i should say and it it is also able to uh, do an instant segmentation for the particular uh, image or uh, the, the particular image that you're training for right so euro v7 becomes a multi-purpose model and that you can use it for the key point detections instant segmentations and object detection so today in this particular video we are just going to focus on the object detection part but in later upcoming videos we are going to focus on other parts of the uh, model like instant segmentation or key point detections so we can focus on that and we can train a custom model on that also but today's focus will be on orbit action training so now let's move move to the training part of uh, Euro v7 and we'll see how we can train it so uh, let me first uh, uh, display the data set that we are going to use so if we go into this particular data set today I'm going to display a data set uh, that will predict that will help us to predict the particular person and wearing a helmet or not or wearing wearing a hard head hard helmet so if i open this particular image you can see there are a lot of images available so this kind of images are will be there for our training euro v7 so you can see uh, a person wearing a lot of hard helmets so that's what we want to predict today in this uh, particular tutorial and this is also a particular person wearing hard helmet and and so likewise we are going to take like whether this person is wearing a helmet or it is not wearing helmet so that's a um, that's a particular uh, display of a particular data set that we are going to follow today and for for annotation of this particular uh, particular uh, data set uh, according to the euro format you can do it using uh, label img so the uh, so the uh, so the creation of this data set or annotation of its data set is same as Euro v5 uh, i have also uh, covered everything the annotation part using the label img in the Euro v5 uh, video so you can just walk so you, you can just go through that particular video and you, you can just take a look on how you can annotate your uh, data set and save the uh, data set in a Euro v5 format or uh, Pascal uh, or in a Euro v7 format right so it's the same way you can just go uh, to my Euro v5 model or you can go to my Euro v5 video and you can just uh, understand how to annotate your data set uh, for for training it on Euro v5 and Euro v7 that's the same process you don't have to change anything just use the label img uh, tool and annotate the data set according to your needs and then save it in a Euro format that's it and all of these things are covered in my Euro v5 video so you can just go and walk through it now so once you have the data set right so as I, as I told you uh, this is a data set uh, that we have so we have images and its labels so if you see so we have labels and this labels you're gonna get it from the label img once you annotate it right so you're gonna get in a .txt format so you can see this is a .txt file and you can see this is these are the labels uh, of annotation in a present in a particular uh, image right so this is a bounding box information and this is a class information which is uh, one two three right now is given but we're going to define it what this one means and other other uh, class identification means right so this is the uh, images and these are the annotations for that particular images and then once you have uh, the data structure like this uh, the similar images for train and test and validation so once you have the data structure like this you can go uh, to collab and you can start working with the training of particular Euro uh, vision model so now i have brought all the data uh, in the collab uh, with uh, all the test and train data set and validation data set so now i have to simply start uh, mixing up the part of Euro v7 or bringing the part of Euro v7 so uh, you can skip this uh, steps because I'm trying to load all the data from my Google Drive and unzipping it in, in, the, in the particular environment 
now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just uh, uh, clone the github repo official github repo that i've shown here right i'm going to clone it and then i'm gonna go inside the your v7 folder uh, that is present inside it once once the particular cl uh, github is cloned then we then we're gonna go inside this v 7 folder and then uh, we are going to pip install the requirements that are present inside it and then we are also we are going to download the uh, model one of the model of v v7 so if we go into this particular uh, github tutorial uh, you're gonna find yellow v7 model right so you are going to download the weight of this particular uh, model so you can see uh, in this particular model you're gonna get that test size as 640 that means the image size is 640 it it has been trained on 640 image size and its accuracy is uh, average precision is 51.4 percent and every precision on 50 iou is 60 69.7 percent so likewise it has given and it has also given the average time inferencing time this it's 2.8 millisecond per image that's the that's the thing that we were talking about when we were discussing about the performance so you can see uh, it is it is well it is good it is performing well at this point uh, its inference time is around 2.8 milliseconds right so it's talking about here so, so this kind of models are available here so based on the inference speed you can select your model and you can download the weights so that's what we are doing it here we are mentioning and downloading the weights of this particular yellow v7 model so once we are downloaded this yellow v7 uh, model you can see uh, yellow v7 model weights are being stored you can see it's of 72 mb and now uh, once we have this all set up done all the requirements for using yellow v7 model is done then we're gonna go and switch back to this uh, directory of yellow v7 and now once you start exploring this yellow v7 uh, directory you can find there are a lot of folders uh, a lot of uh, files available right right now so so to train a yellow v7 model we are just interested in train.py and if you want to detect or you want to test the performance of your trained model you can use test.py file and if you want to use or detect on the or inference on the new images you can use detect.py file that's the structure you have to understand that those are the files that are required for this particular uh, uh, tutorial so now uh, now once you have this data data set right test train and valid now what you want to do is you want to just mention all the uh, test directory train directory into one of the folders inside the yolo v7 so so there is a folder called data and inside that data folder i have created one data uh, data.yml file initially it was not there i created this data.yml file and inside this data.yml file you have to mention the path of the uh, training data set and validation data set right so what you can do is you can just mention uh, train and uh, it, you can you can mention uh, train and validation in key value format that's a that's a format of a, a yml file and then you can use and mention the path of that train file or you can also mention the uh, path of the validation files and then here you have to uh, mention the number of classes which means nc so here we are going to predict five classes or we are going to predict five classes which and mention the names of those classes so you can see we are mentioning the uh, head helmet high vis helmet and persons so like a lot of uh, you know, like five classes we are going to create here uh, using this yellow v7 and this is the thing we have to uh, create inside this particular data folder and you have to save it in a dot yml file so if once these informations are there you have to just use this information and to train the model right so once this setup is done uh, you have created a dot yml file and now you have to go into uh, the training part so in the training part you have to just mention uh, python train.py file and then you have to specify the weights so what kind of weight you are using so right now we are using euro v7 model uh, weights that we have downloaded right now so we are going to mention the path of that and we are going to use the uh, data right so where the data location is so you have to mention the file name that we just set up on the data folder that is data.yml file that we have created just now that got am file so it will just help us to locate the data where it is present so this uh, dash just data will help us that and then you're going to mention the workers that means how many uh, cpus or gpus you're going to use it so this is mainly for the cpu 
cores that is that is you are trying to mention four number of cpu cores and then uh, the batch size uh, we are going to mention 32 and what what is the image size you're going to use for training and then the configuration for that particular for a, for a particular model so if you're going to use a yellow vision model then this is the uh, yml file that you have to use so you let, let's suppose if you're going to use different model like yellow v7 w6 then you have to go inside this uh, yellow v7 model go inside this configuration file go inside this training folder then you can choose this uh, yellow v7 uh, w6 yml file and mention the path here right but right now we are not going to worry about that so uh, and we can mention the name of that particular model for how many epochs you're going to train it and this is the hyperparameter uh, that is already available uh, to train for YOLO v7. So that's the basic hyperparameter that is that, that is present in a, a particular U, YOLO v7 for, folder. You can just play around with those hyperparameter also. So right now we are just going to mention this these things in, uh, with these parameters and argument uh, around the train train.py py file. And now we're going to train this model, right? So let us run this uh, particular cell to train the model for just for two epochs. So the training has been completed. Uh, we have just trained for the two epochs, uh, and now you can see uh, you can see the status, a classification report that has been printed out for each and every label, which seems not to be that great because it's not print, it's not getting that uh, highest accuracy or MAP uh, for each of these classes. Uh, so we are printing head, helmet, and person. Uh, so we are not able to get right. Uh, accuracy because we just we just have trained for only two epochs so maybe you can train it for more epochs but for this tutorial to keep it very short and simple uh, I have trained it for two epochs and you can see a lot of uh, uh, accuracies and information has be, are being printed out for each and every epochs so if you want to further explore the performance of the model uh, you can go into this uh, YOLO v7 model so once you have trained the model right so all the informations are being saved around um, whatever the model you have trained it's going to save in, in the folder called uh, runs inside this yellow v7 so if you go inside this run you're gonna find the particular folder train you know go and explore this particular folder you can see there are a lot of uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, information has been printed out you can see a uh, weight folder also there which means this is the best weight or this is the best uh, uh, performing model that has been trained on your own data set so you can use this model or you can use this weight uh, to uh, do the inferencing and you can prepare some of or some uh, AI models using this particular and you can just over, over, overlay with some UIs and you can prepare this you can use this ways to train your inferential model right you can use this best weights for your model and then <clears throat> if you want to understand the performance or what is the performance of your particular training you can just open this f1 curve images it, so it's this particular uh, uh, yellow v7 model also help us to or this particular github also help us to uh, store the information of the training uh, of YOLO v7 so you can see there are a lot of performance uh, around this particular uh, f1 f1 score uh, around this particular training of this YOLO v v7 model so you can see for each and every confidence level uh, where the f1 score has gone up and where it is performing poorly so you can see i can see that uh, the confidence for like 0.5 around 0.5 uh, the f1 scores are very high for a for a particular class you can see for each class it has printed the f1 score and for all class average score is around you can see the purple line uh, it's showing up like you can put up confidence level of around 0.3 or 0.4 of while inferencing so that's a part of uh, the thing that you have to set up that's uh, with, at which confidence level you want to get an uh, inference right so that's that's how you can understand by this by using this f1 curve there are also uh, precision recall curve that are being printed out for this training you can just go and explore it so this is a precision recall curve for each and every uh, uh, class that you have trained for so if you go in top you can see and uh, also you can uh, explore the confusion matrix so if you go into this and you can just understand the the true and false um, true positive and true negative of this particular uh, performance of the model 
and then you can also see uh, the results.png file uh, where, where you're going to find the uh, object object uh, uh, detections uh, information and accuracy how it is how it has been able to perform on classification precision and all so you can see you can see a lot of metrics has been plotted here and you can understand the loss how the loss is going down for this particular objectness understanding bonding box information understanding and classification understanding so this is the information that you can understand from this uh, particular uh, runs folder inside this yellow v7 you can also find some uh, uh, information like a test underscore label batches what are uh, how many number of uh, lab labels you have been so you can see uh, I think it's got selected yeah so you can see there are a lot of images and uh, detections that have happened for this validation test and similarly for train batch for so for each batch it stores an images so you can just go and explore it right so this is the information you're gonna get and it will help you to uh, store the information and understand the model how it is performing and uh, where where we should be focusing more on right so you can go in the, inside this yellow v7 model uh, folder and you can just explore this run folder inside this you're gonna go in inside this train folder and you're gonna find all the weights best weights and the information regarding that particular folder right i think you understood what i meant to say now uh, that that's a part of training and understanding that uh, trained model now uh, now here we we want to go and uh, here we want to go and test out uh, the train model like what was the performance although we got this performance tested so you want to if you want to get the same information uh, you can use the dot test by file so and you can mention uh, data uh, the data dot yml file that we created right right and you can mention the image same image size you have to mention whatever you, you have used for training and then here you can mention the confidence so according to the f1p f1 ratio f1 uh, that we just that we just saw on this particular graph uh, around the f1 curve right so it was saying saying that we should mention the uh, confidence around 0 0.36 right so we're going to mention it you can mention iou intersection of union and you can mention the device zero that is cpu and then you have to mention the best weights so as i told you right it, the best weights are inside this particular uh, <clears throat> train v7 model right folder so you can mention that particular path and you can give name to this particular run so now let's run this particular cell to see uh, and to get uh, the particular classification report uh, the same classification report by using uh, this particular test.py file so let's, let us wait for a few seconds and now it will just go through all the uh, test files that are available inside this test and this, then it's gonna give us the accuracy of that particular uh, file by using our own train data, uh, our own train, train model. So you can see uh, it has predicted uh, and it has got the accuracy uh, based on the confidence level that we passed when we explored the train data set. And then according to that, we are able to make up a decision and we are able to test out the results on the test data set. Right now, we want to do the inferencing. So let's suppose all the training and inferencing and understanding of model has been done. Now we want to do an inferencing on a new uh, data set or new of the new images, right? So you can use Python direct.py file, which is available inside this uh, Euro v7 folder. Uh, and you can just go over there and you can just use this data.py file. And then you want to mention uh, the weights, the best weights that you train for your current model. And then you're going to mention the source. So from where you're going to uh, take the uh, take the image for your inference you can also mention uh, the video path also here so it will start using the video uh, to detect the uh, direction of detection on that particular video so right now i'm going to do it on the images so let us i have just passed the test image folder path which is present here and now i'm going to run this and we're going to see the detection where it's going to happen and where it's going to save it so it will also take few seconds to do it so let's wait for it So all the inferencing for the test folder or for the uh, test images has been done. Now the, de the detected or the inferencing images has been saved inside this particular yellow v7 folder. So again you have to go inside this yellow v7 and then you have to go inside this run. And then once you uh, run this uh, uh, detect.py file right it will create a detect folder. So and if you go inside this you're gonna go into the experiment number two because I have ran one, one experiment one uh, before making this tutorial so it's showing experiment one so we can go this uh, go into this experiment number two 
and then you can explore the detections part the model prediction part so you can see the images and the predictions so you can see the predictions of helmet has been done uh, which is performing very accurately uh, although we trained for just two epochs you can see it is able to you can see it is able to fail here at some point because we have just trained it for two epochs so it's working in that way but you can uh, improve this particular model by training it for more epochs uh, so here you for so if you want to explore the detection images directory images you can just go into this particular folder or uh, direct folder and there you can uh, explore your experiment number and you can find your all your directed images so this is the thing that you can create using Euro v7 github repository official repository and it will work fine for your all use cases and since they have been able to outperform Euro v5 current state of the art model then you can use this Euro v7 on your own data set and you can prepare your uh, best inference pipeline and you can get some awesome results around the uh, objection part so i hope you enjoyed this particular tutorial if you like this particular content do subscribe my channel thank you